All right, it's official. All of my reviews before this cannot top what I'm about to show you. This is the mother of all Chinese crap reviews. Are you freaking ready for this? Are you ready? This is the V. The V wireless power player. I cannot believe I actually have one of these right now. Um, here's the thing though. This one's a little different from the one you know. Um, by that I mean you've probably seen the video by Ashens about he got the uh, his Kensington to, um, his Kensington V. Uh, this one's a lot different though actually. In fact it's worse. Let me show you. I, I can't find a brand anywhere on the box. Um, all I see is V, wireless power player. Um, let's take a look at the box. Nothing more other than TV 100 is all the information we get. Here's the back of the box which has um, all the different games listed on it. It actually it shows the game menu as a game. I don't understand that. Um, so this one's got soccer and... Huh, I never noticed that. It shows the screenshot for soccer twice. Um, but they're two different uh, spots in the game. And it looks like he's not kicking a soccer ball. It looks like he's kicking Toad's head. Uh, there's boxing, baseball, tennis, and ping pong. Difference between tennis and ping pong? Not really anything. So here's uh, their catchphrase. Your sport games. Let's do it together. Alright. So, you probably want me to go ahead and open this. Well, I will. I'm a nice guy. I can tell you right now, this is going to be a two-part review. This is going to be a very long, in-depth review right here. All right, this is it. This is the Nintendo V. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so used to saying Nintendo. We're just gonna call it the V. Okay, this is the V. Here's the instruction manual. Um, on a large se sheet of toilet paper. That's so nice of them. Came ripped like that too. Disappointed. Oh, what I like about the manual. For people who don't know how to do it. Um, step two: watching TV programs. I'm trying to get a good shot. There we go. You can watch TV programs on any channel simply by turning off games power and then shifting back to the channel desired. Oh, thanks. I didn't know that. So this is what we get in the box here. We'll look at the V later. Here are our two V remotes. Which, to be honest, I'm still trying to find out the science behind these. Um, first of all, they're, well, they're not too light. They each take three AAA batteries. They're freaking battery... Uh, uh, I won't say the word. Uh, they've got two openings on the top for their absolutely do nothing sport counterparts. Now on the remote, a lot of the games you hold it sideways. I'll get more on that in a minute. But you've got basically B A Turbo B Turbo A reset button. I guess you can reset the console from the controller. Start and select and the control pad. Um, you know, like I said, it comes with two of them. If you actually find someone who wants to play this with you. Now, here's what's weird about these. I'm still trying to figure out how these work. They've got sensor-like things on the side. Yeah, one here, one here, and another one here. I can't figure out what they're for. Um, it's it's got to have something to do with the front of the V, where, um, let's see, that's an LED that lights up when you turn it on. And that there, I don't know what that is. Uh, Maybe that's how the wireless system works. Maybe it's not 2.4 gigahertz like Ashen's V. So, um, I don't know. That's a mystery to me. So we've got... I put them back in. They're all tangled up. Hold up. There we go. Got your AV cables. Got an AC adapter, but the AC adapter is optional. You can actually put four double A's in this thing and use that instead. Uh, I bet you it does some pretty cool glitches when, it's, uh, when the batteries are low. And this is um, this is the Famicom cart that comes with the sport games on them. Um, I'll talk more about the games in a bit. This is the light gun, which you know China doesn't know what flat screen TVs are, so all the people in China still have TVs that can use this. We're gonna be using it on a flat screen TV, so the light gun, we won't be using it. But even with the cord dangling, this thing is light as hell. I swear there's nothing in there. Like, would it even work? And these are our uh, our sport attachments. This one's for tennis. Uh, they're nothing more than a plastic... It feels like half plastic, half rubber. Um, they don't do anything to help, as far as I know. There's the ping pong one. 
and uh, the baseball one. I kind of like how they include this, you know, when you're pissed off at the V. You know, you've played enough, you can beat the crap out of it. So, yeah. Well, let's take a look at the V itself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick the batteries in it since I don't have an AC adapter nearby. Like I said, it takes four double A's. Everything's a freaking battery hog with the V. It wants your money and your batteries. Oh, the shoot, they popped right out. Huh. Gotta watch out, these things are, like, spring-loaded, no pun intended, like, really. I'll stick that on there before they pop out again. Okay, now we got power. Ray. So, the V, of course, it's really lightweight. Like, <laughs> there's not, I gotta, I'm probably gonna open this thing up, see what's in here. Uh, here's your cartridge slot right there. Uh, it does not work with US NES games, it works only with Famicom games from Japan. And the back of it, you got the adapter slot, video and audio, and the attachment for the gun. Just a gun. And there's the other side. Got power and a reset button. And they slapped the logo right on there for you. Well, we've looked at the hardware. We've done the unboxing. Now the only thing I can say is, stay tuned for part two, where we're going to play this piece of crap. And I'll show you how crappy it is.